Welcome, time for some art fun. Today, we've got a sketchbook tour, and I'm going to show you what I used largely on my travels with this sketchbook and what I'm going to use next for my travel sketchbook. So stick around. This right here is one of my most common sketchbooks that I use. It's the Travelog Handbook sketchbook. It does not have watercolor paper. It doesn't have fancy paper. It is a cheapo paper sketchbook, I would call it. This is one of my stickers of one of my paintings that is on my Redbubble shop. So if you ever want to get any stickers of my artwork, check that out. It's in the link to the Redbubble. <laughs> it's in the description of every single video that I post so that you can easily find it. So in this sketchbook, I made a different sort of travel setup. I'm going to move this to the side for now. I made this little tin out of a gift card holder, a gift from Talbots, and I don't know if the there's going to be something stuck to the top. Often there is. Okay, yeah, so there was. That's very realistic. The um, watercolors that I put in here, because the watercolor is a little messy and it got on the sides, it'll sometimes stick to the top, and you can see the evidence of that <laughs> all over the place, and that's fine. I don't mind. It does have these sticky magnets, but they're just not sticking that well, and that's what's happening there. The ones where the magnets are stuck really well to the half pans, it's working great. So that's the only downside there. What I wanted to do was make this really pretty color range with my Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2 water-soluble crayons because I love them so much, but I don't use them a ton because I tend to use the things that are on my desk, and these aren't on my desk, and I certainly didn't have any in my travel case before. So I made this because it just happened to be like literally the perfect size for those crayons. And I picked a color palette that I thought would be really fun. And then I just used extra half pans that weren't fitting in any of my other palettes. So this is an old charcoal color from a Prima marketing set. I think the Woodlands set. This is an extra Schmincke Forest Green. This is an extra Opera Pink. I don't remember the brand, but probably Daniel Smith. This is an extra galaxy pink from Schmincke, so two super granulators there. This is a burnt umber, and this is Schmincke violet. Um, I was just finishing off a tube and put that in there. So because these are in here, they're getting pretty well used. I mean, man, I'm making a lot of good progress with these. Not as much with the charcoal because it really looks like ink. I mean, it's very comparable to the Pentel. Pentel. <laughs> <laughs> that is so not how you say that. Pentel Aquash uh, ink brush. This looks a lot like this, but it's obviously it's not permanent. It doesn't get used as much as all the other ones. So this is what I've largely been using for color. And then the other thing I do is I bring this little pencil case around. And these two things just fit so well in my purse with a little sketchbook. So that's why this is one of my fun little just this is the throw in the purse i'm not planning to sketch it's not a sketching trip it's not a plein air trip i don't have a whole setup like i have when i go on a real planned one this is just i want this in my purse in case the opportunity arises while i'm waiting for the train or something i can sketch and i have everything i need so i have an erasable colored pencil that's a must i have my pentel pocket brush pen which is a brush black uh, brush pen. You can get really cool variation of lines. Mary Doodles swears by this thing. I lost it for a while and almost started to cry. And she literally made a joke about it. And I was like, Mary, I'm not able to joke about the fact that I can't find this pen. And she was like, you know me, I joke about everything, but I feel you. I was really, really cute. It actually did make me feel better. <laughs> I have a Pit Artist pen in gray. This looks like a really pale gray and it's great for just trying to figure out where my shading will be. This is just a micron. I just pick whatever one is getting close to being done so I can finish it off. And a water brush. It doesn't matter what kind of water brush. This one happens to be an Arteza knockoff of the Pentel water brush. So that's my travel setup that I did a lot of these pieces with starting about halfway through. So let's do the actual sketchbook tour now that you know sort of the majority of what I used in there. This is the 24th sketchbook that I've ever filled. It took me the longest of any sketchbook I've ever had. So I started it on March 11th and I just finished it this week. I think it was July 9th, but so I'm so sorry. I should have, I just forgot to write it down. Guys, it's the 24th one. At this point, I'm not super uptight about the record keeping because it's just gotten crazy. Let me fix the lighting. There you go. These are all Ankapura stickers except for this one, which is a Lee Ellickson. And I just don't like to feel any pressure on the first page and I want to be inspired. And so 
that's what this does. I love all the colors. I love the cute animals. I love the little cute faces. And I tested out um, a new Daniel Smith color there as well on the first page. This is from my How to Fill All Your Sketchbook Ideas video, which I'll try to link below if you haven't seen it before. It is fun. I painted my Daniel Smith watercolor palette. So I just painted that sitting out on my desk and this was just my saying, time for some art fun, that I sit here on my channel and I just wanted to test out some of these paint colors and use one of my favorite washi tapes and it was super fun and relaxing to do that. Little bird. On, so I don't know why this bird was, it, it's obviously not realistic. <laughs> I really liked this. Sometimes I just pull up pictures on Pinterest and try to draw. So this is a great example of one of those times that I, I actually just had this that time. So I just had the black pens and the gray uh, and the pencil. I drew this pencil case in the Uber. And then I drew some people who were at this evening at Dazzle where we were watching Osnoy, which is just a really cool uh, musician. And on the way there, the Uber had the best music. He was playing Counting Crows, Nirvana, Foo Fighters, Radiohead, Depeche Mode, Sublime, No Doubt, Weezer. It was like the biggest blast from my past ever. When we were waiting there for Osnoy to perform, I just painted the drum set and the stage, and it was really fun. Painted, drew. Oh my gosh, I love this owl so much. <laughs> Make sure I'm still afraid. This owl is so cute. I thought he came out so cute. This, I was taking notes on a colorfully optimistic video about how to draw red hair with colored pencil. And I ended up ordering every single one of these uh, colored pencils she used because I just want to be just like her with my colored pencil hair. This was while I was watching a live stream of my buddy, <laughs> my love, um, over at Sketches and Scrubs. I love her so much. And she was doing a live painting session and I, it was like early in the morning and I just grabbed up my paints and started painting with her. And I actually really love how this came out. That's my doggy Teffy. And I <laughs> was watching a lot of Instagram reels. And back then this sound was really popular. The do, 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 do. do you know that one? Do, 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 do. And that's what <laughs> Tuffy was reminding me of that song when I was drawing him with his favorite pillow. This is a funny little bird that basically I painted this background with watercolor that was left over on the top of my palette, you know, just using it up. I do that a lot. Later, I came in with a black pen and drew this fat bird. And later I came in with some Poscas and filled in some more color on the bird just to try to give him a little more contrast. I think it's a fail, but it's still fun to look at this page. I love this one. This was Turner Acryl Gouache, and I think it looks so good on this paper. I actually really love this piece, and it's very popular on my Instagram. Adorable color pencil bird who wants his food, and that adorable soft, I love how this came out, <laughs> colored pencil bird, and this is Posca background, inspired this Turner Acryl Gouache nest. Okay, I have a video I'll probably insert here of me painting. This was a plein air painting, but I still, all I had with me was this instead of this at that time. So just my regular old travel Daniel Smith watercolor palette and then the same old pens, the gray, the black from this. And I painted the river in Golden, Colorado and I really, the creek, and I really love that. This was the bee that you guys probably saw this video of my review and I was reviewing this gouache palette, this little airtight transcend gouache palette that I love and that was the painting I did for that video. I just did my current art bag which was my like go to Panera bag. I did a video once about my three travel bags like <laughs> Papa Bear, Mama Bear and Baby Bear art bags and these were in the Papa Bear. It's just a quick still life with watercolor and marker. I really like how that came out. I like some of the cool details with colored pencil and this is multimedia galore, folks. Little gouache and Turner or curl gouache bunny. I like the little facial expression. We went to 
a place called So Radish. I think it's in Old Town, Arvada, uh, Colorado, and it was really good. And while we were waiting for the food, I drew this string of lights. And right after that, I got my grabby metallic palette, my 40 color metallic palette that I reviewed here. And I filled in, you know, the lights with the little shiny. And I, I swatched it out here so we could see it on this paper as well as the more fancy paper that I did. Another piece to test it out in, and this is the second piece I did that I actually like a lot better than the first piece I did. I love these metallic watercolors, and this page feels amazing because those grabby metallic colors feel really good. I don't know why. Love this piece. I was watching a lot of Sandy Hester Instagram, and she was very into flowers at the time, and so I just grabbed a picture off of Pinterest of a floral arrangement and decided to completely <laughs> remake it in my so I painted it with a bunch of Turner acryl gouache and then I played on top with some Posca this is a lot of purple Posca and I really love how it came out and guys it is so tactilely satisfying like this paper just takes a lot of abuse even though it's cheap paper this was a Q&A video that I did where I painted this in real time it took under half an hour to paint this little chameleon baby with my Turner Acryl Gouache, and it was so much fun. If you hear my chair, I just keep checking to make sure I'm still in frame. And yeah, that Q&A video was really fun. This is more from my How to Fill Your Sketchbook video. These are my Regina's watercolors. They're so pretty. And they're the ones I'm trying to use up right now. I'm doing pretty good, guys. Like, this is a different one. This is new from a different brand, but I'm fully within the pan on all these at this point. All right, all right. Turner Acryl Gouache uh, review. And then I also use these really cool Signo Uniball metallic pens and white pens on top to do the wings to make them a little iridescent. I think this bee is so cute. I love how this came out. This was my trip to Santa Fe and I have a whole video on all of these Santa Fe paintings. I don't think you've seen this before, but I got these four colors and this really cool pen that I'm writing with on there at a really awesome art store there in Santa Fe, which is in the video. So I'll just let you watch that Santa Fe vlog, basically art vlog uh, to see that. Did that in the hotel room. This was from this really cool rail yard, like outdoor open market that was really fun. <laughs> A dog that I really messed up bad. I love this scene. I think it's so pretty. This was a sculpture that we saw there. I thought he was so cool and I'm really happy with how it came out in the sketchbook. This was a scene driving there. This is what it looked like to drive there. Guys, like I don't know what to tell you other than it's a beautiful drive to go from Colorado to Santa Fe, New Mexico and I highly recommend. I was midway. So one thing I do when I first get a sketchbook, I will often fill the middle page. I'll count to figure out where the absolute middle is for the sketchbook and I'll fill that page first so that I feel like I'm just filling this much and then I feel like I'm just filling this much instead of feeling intimidated by having to do this much. So it's just a little mental game I play to feel like I'm making more progress than I am I guess and I don't like how this came out at all but it was fun to make and relaxing with markers. I just don't like how markers look in here. This was another like how to fill your sketchbook moment. I painted my Regina's palette and this is what it looked like then. So I've made a lot of progress and these are the actual colors where they are and I've moved them a little bit since, but uh, this is the Regina's palette. And then I filled this page with my thoughts about the palette. Little red panda, little floral bouquet. I like how that came out in this. This is my six half pan in my, <laughs> This says marker travel bag. I'd added this to my Papa Bear at first. That's the swatching. It was in a different order, but those are all the paints that you see here. So this is the first time I swatched it. And then I painted this little <laughs> whale with these colors. Not super happy with the whale, but it was fun. I drew these armadillos again for my girl, Moni D Major. Love her. And I had drawn these in my other little square sketchbook a while ago. And it was just kind of how to draw from your imagination. And I drew them again because I loved drawing them the first time. I just wanted to draw them again. Love this little owl. Love this little adorable squirrel. And these are mostly in acryl gouache, but there's also, I had just gotten this red 
um, Posca pen in Santa Fe and I was dying to use it so I used some Posca pen there just to satisfy my uh, urgent desire to use those Posca pens and then some white pen too. This one is another one I'll have to just turn for you but this is a face it's kind of weird I really enjoyed painting it I don't love how it came out but it was really fun to make. Another one <laughs> this is a similar style to that other one that I did the other flower bundle and just really relaxing one morning. This is very Lee Ellickson inspired <laughs> in the sense that she does this type of thing a lot. This wasn't like from one of her videos or anything, but I went on Pinterest and picked a bunch of cute things that I wanted to draw all on one page. I found some cute clouds, an adorable little duck, and I love this hamster. The hamster is my favorite part of this whole thing. Slash guinea pig, I actually think it's a guinea pig, not a hamster, but whatever. It's very Lee Ellickson inspired. This is just from Pinterest with marker. This was a video, <laughs> um, Pixabay reference, free reference. I did a video on this. I wished I had done it more in white. And so I actually did in another sketchbook, leave the body a little more white, but I love that face, so cute. I did him again here, again, trying to do it more in white. Don't like how this one came out, but that was the idea. Love this surprised guinea pig, hilarious. Reminds me of Doodle Date. Loved this dragon. This dragon was just okay. I tried to make like, I made just this baby dragon and I wanted to just leave this whole spread just with the baby dragon because he's so cute. Like his little belly, everything about this dragon is so stinking cute. This was off of a Pinterest sculpture reference. Um, there was like a little, there's like a little knickknack that looks like that, but different colors, like very different. I riffed off of it, but that was the inspiration for that. This one was more what I would think the mom of this would look like, you know what I mean? And just tried to draw it from my imagination using one of those pens that I got from my Santa Fe trip, which is super cool. And I do like how it came out. I just loved him and I felt like I didn't have the right to keep the rest of the page blank and I need to work on that because I can do whatever I want. It's my sketchbook. Adorable fat bird, adorable kitten, also from a Pinterest, um, not Pinterest, a Pixabay reference of a kitten. I actually love how that came out. This one, I did some Aspens. And that is a bunch of Arteza um, brush pens, colorful brush pens. This is more of those brush pens. And then I tried to use the Amazon Basics dupes for the uh, Posca pens. And they just got really dry really fast. I was really frustrated because when I first got them, I really loved them. And then they're just really annoying. And the grabby paint pens are way better. Posca are way better than the Amazon dupes. So I, I'm sad because I was really excited about them when I first swatched them out, but it's more the long term. The grabbies are still going. The Poscas are still going. The Amazons died. So just know that. <laughs> Same thing. I was using up the Posca, or sorry, the Posca dupes, the Amazon Posca dupes. And you can see they're just real scratchy. But I do like that little elephant boy. And then I made lovebirds. This was live. I painted this plein air at the Colorado Triathlon at Boulder Reservoir because we had a wonderful friend who was doing that whole thing, the whole triathlon. She's so inspiring and amazing. And so I do that while we were waiting for her to cross the finish line, which she did with a huge smile, guys. A baby seal I totally messed up. An adorable Chris Reiniak sculpture that I drew. Um, he knows that I draw his sculptures and I told him I would always give him a shout out phone is being weird so I had to switch to voiceover. This was my first drawing when my family was visiting and then one of my my niece drew that on the right. I did the calf. Um, this is just a bird outlined in Posca. Mr. Octopus on Pinterest inspired painting. This was just actually Jennifer Connolly as a model. It doesn't look like her but that's how my portraits are. Painted our chips and queso at Torchies. Painted a little baby hippo who came out really funny. A little baby goat that came out real funny. I love the opera pink background. <laughs> this lady was looking so good and then I messed up her nose. I had to outline it in black for some reason. Totally messed it up. This is a baby quokka. I love this little boy. He's so cute. A little panda. Can't go wrong with a panda. Love pandas. I did some loose florals a la Sketches and Scrubs, and I thought that the color variation was really cool with the watercolors that come in my little box that I use. This was at Red Rocks, just a plein air painting while we were there to see some live music. This is a little happy turtle soaking up the sun that was on my Instagram. This is the other Chris Reiniak inspired. This is a bunny though. And this is Maroon Bells in Colorado. 
this is a really messed up baby deer that I hate and that's how I ended up almost finishing the sketchbook a funny weird owl and then a swatch page at the back another low pressure page I hope you enjoyed this video remember to check if you're subscribed leave me a like and a comment below thank you so much for watching and until next time remember create something cute